Hey guys, Miles here. Before we get into this episode of You Betcha Radio, I want you to head to OUBetcha.com and pick up a Midwest is Best t-shirt. We are donating $5 of every single shirt to the Children's Hospital Hospital at the University of Iowa. So if you buy a shirt, five bucks is going towards that charity all through the month of April. Enjoy the show. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Well, it's Wednesday when this comes out. We're living in the past. Um, what's going on in the world right now? <sighs> Bad weather in the Midwest. <laughs> it's snowing. It's snowing Literally outside. Snowing. What? Uh, maybe I can finally use the pl- the snow plow. Yeah, or you could use your uh, use your new shovel. Oh wait, you get a new I'm, shovel for your place. Uh, I haven't gotten a shovel yet. Oh, wait, no, I did get a shovel. Okay, so there's three of them you have to get. You know which ones. I are. know what three I got to get, Ryan. In due time. Yeah. In due time, um, my knees starting to act up a little bit from this weather. <laughs> yeah, naturally. Did you smell it coming? I could smell it coming through with my knee pain. My groin starting to act up. That makes any sense. My groin starts to hurt. I thought when the you were all gets healed bad. up. No, just when the weather. Are gets you bad. still talking about that groin of yours? Wow, <laughs> it's a lingering injury. Yeah, it's pretty traumatic. You it cried. is. I did. Yep. A little dust in the eye, actually. Yeah, yeah, I did fall down. No, you're fine. It's allergy season. Yeah, I'm trying to forget about it though. Some guys. W- the weird kid sneezed in your eyeball. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, to get that's it all it was. Wash it out. I did have to. It no, was I just. Won't. It was actually you just were working. It was just sweating. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was just was. sweat coming from your eyes. That's how hard I try to kick um, that ball. <laughs> you're such a hard old Ryan. <laughs> Um, welcome to the, welcome back to You Betcha Radio. We got the the studio audience here again. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs> that was a waning, so a waning pathetic. woo. Are you guys now doing it all in the same key and pitch? The match pitch. Me me me. Uh, I I learned my lesson the first time. Do not ask them to cheer twice in a row. They won't do it the second time. No, no. Just um, one more time. You want? Should we do it one more, one more time? time. Should we do you do it this time, Ryan? All right. Welcome to the live studio audience. Let me hear you guys. Woo! Oh, I thought, uh, hell yeah, baby. Do it again. That was that was all me. That was the I intro. thought they were gonna do it again. Um, welcome back to You Betcha Radio, guys. I am Miles You Betcha Guy here with Ryan the T-shirt guy. Um, feels good. Feels good to be back. Yeah. Um two weeks in a row for two, me. <laughs> two weeks in a row. It's <laughs> big. I don't know what's going on or who the fuck is scheduling this stuff. <laughs> um, Jared, we're going to have to have a talk. But Sorry. before we have that talk, Jared, yep. I want to talk to you guys about fairwaymeatmarket.com. Fairway, baby. It's all about the <laughs> meat. meat. <laughs> we got a new package for you. I know, Ryan, you love a good meat package. That's right. Just to gobble up a good meat package and in it's your a mouth. New, it's a new package. You, Most of the time, too. You love packages, but you love them even more when they're when it's just meat. You juicy going, meat going from, from going into your mouth. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's called the ultimate steak package. That's when you guys go, ooh. <laughs> it's called the ultimate steak package. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm that loving it, so, dude. I'm I'd rather really have it be silent. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's so uncomfortable. Uh, I don't baby, like sitting so close to these guys. His baby's got five ribeye steaks, five strip steaks. Ooh. Relax, Ryan. <laughs> four sirloin steaks and four filet mignon. Mm-hmm. Um, this bad boy can fill up the whole grill. And with the You Betcha discount code, Y-O-U-B-E-T-C-H-A, you get fifty one word. one word. You get fifty dollars off the package. Regular price is two hundred bucks. Uh, if you use the code, it's one hundred and fifty. Great math we did there, Jake. You can even afford this one. You can mm, to be close. He's, I don't know. I you just got to decide between HBO and this meat package. <laughs> um, <laughs> each you betcha package will include a click click and one flip wonder sticker from. You bet your squad. That's Hell a yeah. new thing. We're in on this deal. So, yeah. you know, each sticker is worth five bucks a piece, yep. give or take. So actually, for 150 bucks, you get $160, $210 worth of meat and stickers. So head to fairwaymeatmarket.com and pick yourself up the ultimate steak package. Tyler. What's up? 
<laughs> as like a uh, newscaster. Uh, yeah. We're doing the same thing we did last week. Kick it to Tyler. Okay. Kick it to Jared. Jared, so, what do you got? What so, do you got for us so today? So it's a little different this week. It's gonna be random topics, but it's gonna be when was the last time when? When was the last time when? And then it's random topics. All right. So I'll just start right away. Okay, remember so, we gotta provide some context so to the Tyler, we'll, you are the repeating we'll, guy. I will here. repeat to the Turtles. audience. You'll get that soon enough. Turtle. <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> you can explain? Let's yeah, go. You gotta Let's read go. the thing. Oh, Let's okay. go. Let's go. Let's gotcha. go. All right. When's the last time you watched a chick flick and, and liked it? When was the last time you watched a chick flick and liked it? Oof. Ryan, I know this had to have been yesterday. <laughs> last, last Ryan, I see. I feel like you love Ryan. Flicks. Either watches like only fighting movies, like Fight Club <laughs> and all those. Uh, yeah. Second one, uh, the uh, the sequel. What's was the not Southpaw as good. one? Is it just called Southpaw? Yeah, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, and there's that Warrior. One, either Warrior's watches great. those or he watches chick flicks. I yeah. feel like. Uh, or or spoofy comedy movies. Yeah, his like favorite Adam movie's Sandler, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, yeah. Grown ups and grown up. He brought up Grown Ups too last yeah, last did. time on the podcast. <laughs> Um, Happy Madison Productions. Last time I watched How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. The movie kicks ass. I will stand up for it whenever. When? Who's in that again? Um, that one is, um, what's his name? Is it? Oh, oh that guy. God. God. I don't, I never remember the chick's name. Hot Blonde. Does anyone know um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? McConaughey. McConaughey. It's McConaughey. Yeah, it's Mc McConaughey. I was going to do, oh, 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 that guy. <laughs> all right, all right, all That's right. That's it. It's McConaughey um, and I'll Google the cast. <laughs> the last chick flick that I watched, God, that's been, it's, I mean, I would actually consider this kind of a chick flick series more than a movie, but I would say that like Outer Banks is kind of a chick flicky show. I would agree. Would you agree that it's like yeah. more chick flick than anything? I watched so that would probably one too. be the last one I'd watched was Outer Banks. Kate okay. Hudson. Sorry. Kate Hudson, yeah. Kate Hudson and McConaughey. Great duo. And then that's uh, Catherine, or who's the, uh, uh, Julianne Huff and uh, what's his name? Uh, Dumal are in the one Nicholas Sparks one too. Yep. Do you remember that one? Which one's that one? Um, Lakin, this is you. Lakin, this where are you at This is up your alley. But yeah, I would say the Outer Banks was like the last chick flicky type of thing. I oh, watched. I watched Bridgerton. That is as chick flicky as it gets. A lot That's, of sex, though, isn't there? Uh, one episode is just all sex. The rest is just purely chick flicky. Is that right at the beginning of the series? No, it takes to like episode six. Wow, of that's 10. risky for them. And usually, then it's, usually, usually you want to put all the nudity right up front. So then you keep watching, being like, I don't really want to watch this anymore, but there's still a chance that I could get a nip. <laughs> I can see one boob in this episode. And just, I'm going to keep going. They rewarded all the true fans with one 30 minute long scene. It is just a montage, a montage of a honeymoon that is no talking whatsoever. You sound like you want to like go through the scene. The, um, I mean, I'm getting married. So. Audio visual. Doc? Oh yeah, it's great research for yes, you. Yes, that's you why I watched it. That is why I watched it. That yes. is Fair yes, because clearly um, you did it wrong the first time, and, 30, you, and you now have a sex trophy. Yes, and 30 minutes <laughs> is very generous. You, are, <laughs> you don't want to win the sex game that way. No, correct. <laughs> you want to. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I, 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 I thought you would have worked your kid in there somewhere. You, I did. You definitely did. I didn't. I didn't work him in. He's always trying to work his. Kid you got in the. the I worked. Podcast. I worked the uh, the engagement in this time. Okay. Well, same thing. Yeah. I think the last time I watched a chick movie was probably Sil uh, Silver Linings Playbook. That one's good too. Oh, okay. That, that one's a good. great movie. Is that uh, Bradley Cooper? Bradley Cooper and, and Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Yes. Thank you, Lakin. Great movie. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't even know. Would you consider that one a chick flick? I don't know. It's it's, it's right a romantic comedy. That's why we like it. It's a it's rom Because it's not as chick flicky as the yeah, rest. That yeah. one is great. Mm -hmm. Great. Because there's actually like a like storyline story. that you don't know what's gonna happen. Where every other chick flick, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah. It always just tugs at my heart too when they get together at the end. I'm like, come on, you guys spoilers. got this. Oh, well, fucking you guys spoiler this. alert. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, this movie is 10 years old. If you haven't seen it now, it ain't worth it. <laughs> Thanks, Jarrett. <laughs> what well, is? I know. <laughs> a spoiler's a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what else you got, Jared? Also, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall is a big mess. Oh, I would just consider that a comedy, though, wouldn't you? No, it's a rom-com. Well, I guess. Yeah. yeah, Forgetting Sarah Marshall and I Love You, Man. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. Those babies are up there. <laughs> All right, next to next topic is when was the last time you went for a hike? When was the last time you really? went for a hike? <laughs> <laughs> I actually think I can pinpoint it. It was 2000, maybe 
2014, 15, 2015, 16, maybe was the last time so I went si- for about six years. Yeah. Probably six That's falls ago. Where, where were you at? Okay. <laughs> six falls. Yeah. Good. Uh, where were you? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. I was a in California trail. or something on a okay. hiking trail. What got you there? What got you to the point of here? I was more active at this point in my life. Okay. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> did you still hate it even though you were active? Yeah. It was a big hike. Tough to make it up. Big time mm. hike. Uh, next question, Jared. I don't want to talk about hiking. It's killing me. <laughs> it's a good topic. Uh, when did, was the, did Jake come up with that topic? We, it was a team effort. Well, I'll just say it was Jake. <laughs> yeah, sure. It was me. Yeah. It's Jake. Uh, when was the last time you played an instrument? I have a harmonica. <laughs> like a month ago, probably, I played it. Every time I see it, I just play it. Can you actually play it or are you just... No, I'm good. No, you're not. I'll bring it in. You're not that. Uh, the good question at was, when is the last time you ha- you played an instrument? Um, I'm, more, I'm like I'm better than a random guy that could pick up a harmonica. I know how to play songs. Do you think you? What's could- your best song you can play? <laughs> uh, Piano Man. Oh my God! Okay. <laughs> next uh, next podcast, we're just gonna. I don't know if we're gonna lead in, but that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Just, we got. He's playing Piano Man, and we're talking doing the opening. <laughs> might yeah. be the way to do it. Okay. Um, first of all, I believe you for about zero seconds. <laughs> Why? I, I was so I took all my classes. Isn't uh, this something that usually you just talk about? Like, like you might have mentioned one time you play the harmonica, and then we know we we have that background, but you've never mentioned it one time. I have. Yeah. I've mentioned it to you. You many can't play times. any you other just, instruments. No, I can't. I you mean, can't play any other instrument. That way, it's easy. All you do is just blow into it. Yeah, I guess. And you, you move your mouth around. I guess you would be good at that instrument. Uh, sometimes <laughs> you suck into it. Whoa. Again, <laughs> you'd be great at that instrument. I I told you I'm good. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a left field comment by, I've told you guys hey, this just hold on times. Ryan, how many jobs does he had? Now all of a sudden he's pulling <laughs> instruments out of his ass. Well, we're going to find out about a new instrument next week. Well, we're going to see if he can actually play maybe not <laughs> next week, but the week after, cause we're going to be gone this next week, but you're playing that harmonica live on the podcast. Yeah, that's fine. He <laughs> You're going all in on the harmonica for the next yeah, week. Yeah, I'll, I'll rip. No, I'll, I just got that one. That's the only one I have muscle have, memory. Hey, I can read the notes because it's not like music notes. It's just one, two, hey, three, or four in or out. Hey, we don't care. The <laughs> then do you have the necklace thing? No, because you need to know how to play the guitar to need the no, necklace. No, but then you can do like snaps with your fingers and stuff if you got the necklace thing. I, I keep my hands next to it so I can do the wah, 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 like move my hands. Oh yeah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> That's how you know he doesn't know how to play. <laughs> I'm going to fucking prove it, you guys wrong. <laughs> this is going to be great. No, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. We talked about starting a band, and I always bring up that I'm going to be the harmonica guy, and that's the only... I'll come in for one song every set. All right, Jared. What, what's the next topic? <laughs> Tyler, Tyler did mention last week that he did, he did. play the harmonica. Thank you, Jared. If you were in a band. That? Uh, we, we're talking we're about, talking about rock Jade band. was lead singer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, rock band. Yeah, rock band. Anyway, uh, when was the last time you shit your pants? <laughs> um, last time I shit, it was in college, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, probably fully shit, like childhood, but like sharded. Yeah, like, like within like a the shar- year, like a shard. Oh, uh, question is, when is <laughs> yeah. the last time you shit your pants? <laughs> probably in college. These like, guys are like, what? <laughs> like, what? no one in their adult life has done a full dumpy in their yeah, pants. You're you not, know? you're not fully shitting your pants at, after seventeen. <laughs> no, no. Um, but yeah, a little, you know, a little squirts out. It happens yeah. once in a while. Probably, but probably in college, you know, it was at eight falls ago. <laughs> so <laughs> probably, yeah. probably like a weightlifting incident <laughs> of some sort. Too much, too much exertion. I uh, just pumping too much iron. Yeah. That'll happen to a guy. Ryan, when was yours? Uh, if you want me to be brutally honest, probably like last year. <laughs> 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 What's disturbing is that probably happened near me and I don't like no, that. No, I was home alone. Thank God. Um, <laughs> yeah. That is the time to gamble on a fart. Right? <laughs> yeah, by yourself. Right? You know, you don't want to yeah. be like in Walmart gambling on farts. You want to be like, you want to be at home. You also want to not be wearing your nice underwear and pants yeah gambling on a fart is a great way to put it as a guy i work concrete with he literally he ripped ass one day and he looks me dead in the eyes he goes it's gonna be a good day <laughs> gambled out a fart and didn't shit my pants maybe we'll start shitting our pants more when we get older like that yeah maybe maybe there's a lot more God. gambling <laughs> you gotta know where to hold them no way no <laughs> Uh, um, Lincoln, do you like this talk? 
Lincoln, Chick, chicks she, talk like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just not when we're in the room. Yeah. Which Jared. is bananas. All right. Hit, hit us. Jared, what else you got? <laughs> when was the last time you got drunk on a boat? <laughs> was the last time you got drunk on a boat? Last summer. Yeah. Last summer. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's the last weekend in September that Lake usually shuts down? What's uh, Labor, Day. Labor Day weekend? Probably Labor Day weekend. Yeah, when was the last time we drank the whole town dry of Bush Light? Because that was probably that day. <laughs> Not to brag, but probably happened. Oh, Labor Day. Labor Day. It was. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Next day, the ice was on. Jared? <laughs> when was the last time you made fun of Ryan? <laughs> when was the last Ten time you made ago. fun of Ryan? Yeah, I literally, literally in the intro called him a hardo. <laughs> yeah. And then I also I mean, made a bunch of meat that. package jokes. Yeah. And I said that he loves chick flicks. So, so like two minutes ago. Just Jared. put it on my tab. Yeah. <laughs> That's an easy one. Tyler, when was the last time you made fun of me? Yesterday. During our podcast. You should have uh, heard yeah. Double Bogey Show. Find it wherever podcasts are found. You should. Uh, we'll bleep that yeah. out. <laughs> Um, you should have heard him talking shit behind your back today. It was pretty I mean, bad. that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Everything I say behind your back, I also say to your face. <laughs> Vice versa. We yeah. do that a lot here. Yeah. Yep. Good shit talking going around here. Open shit talking. There's got to be. Jared? Next one. Ate an entire bag of chips in one sitting. When was the last time you ate an entire are bag we, of chips? Are we talking Dorito bag? Like big yeah. family bag? size? Like Costco size bag? Sunday. Yeah, we'll go bigger. Not like party size. <laughs> not party size? Or no, actually... We, Fun size. Fun I got, size. I got mixed up. I had a medium sized bag of chips yesterday that I dummied <laughs> in like a couple minutes. <laughs> um, like a medium, of course, a medium sized bag. Aren't you supposed to eat a medium? Like, yeah. Like a Gardetto sized bag? Probably, yeah. yeah. Um, Every time I, we DoorDash, we're going to get chips. I, so, okay. Uh, my girlfriend buys the skinny pop popcorn, you know? Oh, yeah. That stuff goes down easy. Yeah, it does. And it's the, it's a lot it's, of air in those mini bags too. No, but we're talking the big bag. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll put down half of that bag, and that baby is well. It's healthy. You know, it's, that's my whole torso, basically. <laughs> well, it's of a bag. It's, it's like a pillowcase. So, I'm literally getting skinnier as I eat that popcorn. <laughs> exactly. exactly. That's, that's actually just, how science works. It's actually just a meal supplement. Yeah, and then it's like, it, it, like she complained, like, oh, you need to you know lose weight, and it's like, well. I'm trying. This is the stuff you buy for me. Yeah. I'm eating it. Right. It's not like I'm going to the movie theater and eating that popcorn. Oh, God, that's good, though. Yeah. Might have to go get one of them and uh, watch a chick flick. You don't? Yeah. The theater. Yeah. No matter how this. shit your pants. Hey, yeah. <laughs> no matter how this podcast goes down, you guys want to go maybe catch a flick? And yeah, if you bring the popcorn. You bring the harmonica. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I'll serenade you through the opening credits. <laughs> what was that thing you did? <laughs> there's, a, there's a term for it, but I don't know it. Uh -huh. Anyway, what, next. Pop, popcorn isn't chips, though. That doesn't really count. Uh, mine was yesterday when I got DoorDash. Um, huh. So, Jared, yeah. one thing you'll learn about this podcast is not a lot of it makes too much sense. <laughs> 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 it's in a bag, I guess. Just read the next question, Jared. <laughs> Just read the fucking question. Uh, next question. When was the last time you got food poisoning? The last time you got food poisoning. Never had food poisoning. Not like Tony <sighs> Soprano. So like just stomach ache, right? Like, you just, oh, I know. You have food time. and then you can't gamble on a fart, like that kind of food poisoning. Yeah, I guess that count. Throwing up. Yeah. Have throw you ever had food poisoning? Last year. You did from yeah. what? Uh, from a restaurant in town. I won't put him on blast. Wow. Yeah. Um, when I was Tyler playing, has a connection to this restaurant. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> um, when I was playing D three football, not to brag, not to brag. Um, oh, we had a team meal. Uh, that's three D's. If you're wondering, yes, triple, triple Tell D's. Me, did you actually even play, or you just ride? Um, I did. I was a big special teamer. Oh wow! And one of those guys. <laughs> we call those. We call those tryhards. No, we call those. We call those not good enough to play the rest of it. We also can call you Rudy. Uh, yeah. Hey, we got to find a spot for this guy. We'll throw him on special teams. Uh, put him his, on, put him his, on punt return. Yeah, yeah. His family <laughs> donates a lot of money to school. <laughs> Let him run down in the middle on kick return. <laughs> hey, hey, you're the kicker. Why don't you uh, cover for him? <laughs> Stick your nose in there. Anyway, uh, we ate a team meal and we yeah, all got hey, food poisoning. Ty Tyler uh, <laughs> uses that big old hard noggin of his to, as a wedge buster. Yeah, I wore a cowboy collar. Oh no! no I didn't. did not. Okay. I did not. <laughs> no. What's worse is the butterfly. <laughs> what's you know, that like one? The one that like f that comes straight up and like f butterflies like out, a, yep. and it's got like a colored strap on it, and it's white. 
Do you know what I'm talking about? No. He didn't he, have any of those in Frazee. No, <laughs> no, dude. We didn't even have our team name on our jerseys. It he was literally, green. For a neck roll, he literally just had to take a, a <laughs> piece of metal and just bend it around. And <laughs> hey, we had a really nice welding shop, so we could have. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That seems about <laughs> on par. Brave. Yep. Okay. Well. Next. I don't remember what the question was. <laughs> Got food, food poisoning. Food poisoning. Oh, yeah. I forgot to. <laughs> Next one? Yep. <laughs> okay. When's the last time you had a bad haircut? Bad haircut. Last time I got a haircut, it was fucked up. I didn't want to say anything, but <laughs> it was bad, dude. They tried to make my hair look like Jake's. It was oh, the, terrible. The undercut. Yeah, I've been going to the same haircut gal for since I was a little tyke, and so I've been. Pre- she's pretty consistent, so I haven't really had a bad haircut. Not to brag, I gambled. Um, as long as it's not farts. Ryan, I haven't. I don't remember the last time I had a bad haircut. Yeah, because I when I was younger, I just go straight buzz head. You can't screw that up unless you leave a couple like wispies on the side here. Yeah, you but then your mom the when in the kitchen just slices those babies yeah. off. Sit, yeah. grab the scissors out of the junk drawer. Yeah, I used to buzz mine as well, but now I have the receding hairline of a forty-five year old, and yeah. it just looks real bad. You gotta grow it out. You gotta. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do over. now. Comb, sure. yeah. No comb over. Yeah. If you guys I think you've hit the age where you're ready to do a comb I, over. I, I would agree. Maybe a toupee. Mm. Are you Bos- that, I would are you... go to Bosley before a toupee. Really? Okay. All right. We could uh, also do the what's the comb over beard where you grow it long <laughs> enough to where you comb it <laughs> all the way around. Comes around and into a beard. I can't grow my beard. Maybe long then enough. you could cover up that bald patch in your Dude, beard. Dude, isn't that the worst? <laughs> I've you actually did, I've the, reached out to the Twitch chat to diagnose that spot and it just what's well, because you pick no one, at it no one's time. got answers yeah I pick everywhere though <laughs> all right Jared you got a juicy one for me yeah, uh, some I mean that fart one was pretty uh-huh. let's see let's do this one when was the last time you hung a bearskin rug on the wall of your office <laughs> when was the last time you hung a bearskin rug on your, the wall of your office can't say I have have you right either yeah, no, none of us have. I'm here. out on this one. No one has done that here, Jared. What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you snuck out a fart in a place you shouldn't have? Mm. <laughs> last time we podcasted? Probably 1.0. Probably the old bunker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, probably. Oh, when's the last time you slipped out a fart when you're in a place you weren't supposed to? Yeah, the, the old crop dust is what you're going to want to use on that one. Yeah. Lincoln, you're the Someone big. You're a big time like offender it was of you. the crop no, dust. Not me. No one that ever goes in your office. office. It's just you. That might have been the last time that I did it. Hey, can we <laughs> all, as a group of guys, no. just fart in Lincoln's uh, office? Like, do it as like a bit, like pretend like you got something to talk to her about, and then just walk in there, fart, and, <laughs> and leave. leave. Well, she got a candy dish too. Just, just yeah. Oh, I hey, I wanted candy. to grab a piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna do it silently. <laughs> 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 that was a bottle one. rocket yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually pretty funny <laughs> like <laughs> the color of the wall start turning like a weird yellow uh, <laughs> like someone's been smoking yeah. in yeah. there for 40 years but it's yep. just farts oh, her plants die <laughs> carbon monoxide poisoning in that room <laughs> and then whenever you leave the office you have to shut the door <laughs> yeah. oh you want your door shut okay okay i got it for you <laughs> Dutch oven action. Yeah. 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 And then just, uh, yeah, like put a heater where she can't see it and just crank up the heat in there. <laughs> All right. When was the last time you blacked out? Uh, Nashville. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I blacked out. I think we all almost did. Uh, I went home early. I Irish goodbye. Oh, yeah, that's because you went home early and Jake puked in, at the bar. At the bar. He held it all in. So or let it out. At you, the bar? Yeah. Okay. In. Like in the bar, hey, it or goes in the to bathroom. show how much Ryan bathroom. listens to You Betcha Radio <laughs> yeah. when he's not on it. <laughs> yeah, no, never. Didn't we talk never. about that? We did. We did. Yeah, we did. I puked in the bathroom. Like I felt it coming on. Just you gotta go. Yeah, I got close. Fillmore night in Nashville. I was very close. Yeah, I, I was. I had were... to. The, I was kind of grayed out. I had to get filled in on some spots. You know. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Probably college for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I'm. Uh, did you guys hear the question? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, I hold my hold my booze pretty well. Not to brag, but. Well, it's easy to hold two beers. <laughs> 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 Next question. When was the last When was the last time you drank the majority of a case of Bush Light? Nashville. Who did these? Did you two do these yeah. questions? 
guys, we did this like five minutes. Last week was way better. That's a that's like a fan question right there. <laughs> Like I get asked that question probably ten times a day in the uh, DMs. So we'll this is actually no, this is probably good. Now I can just answer it once and we're good to go. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, last time I drank, a majority of a case was in Nashville mm-hmm. <laughs> two weeks ago. Yep. <laughs> so I took a weekend off. Uh, it might have been, might have been Bristol. <laughs> the Not Nashville. Bristol. Yeah. No, he bought a six pack for three of us. Oh no! What did we get? Rookie mistake. Because we couldn't get, they didn't have bush light. They didn't, we had heavies, yeah, didn't but, we? Yeah, but we got a, you just bought a six pack. Yeah, I was trying to, that's all, it was a gas station. <laughs> no, maybe it was a 12 or I don't know, but. Yeah, it was a 12 of bottles. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. They didn't have hard alcohol. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, do you have one more we good one? one more. Or one more good one? I think it's good. I think they're all good. All right. Your job is on the line. All right. When was the last time you seriously pissed off your significant other? <laughs> When is the last time you you significantly pissed off your significant other? <laughs> Seriously pissed off. Well, it's probably tonight for Tyler because he's working late when he wasn't supposed to. I just got a text like three minutes no. ago. When are you coming home? <laughs> no, dude. So yeah, that's a bad sign. Moments ago. Moments ago. Bad time. Um. Uh, God. You go first. <sighs> Ryan's the perfect husband. No. I would say the last time I pissed off my significant other probably was like three weeks ago. What'd you do? Financial advisor Spill meeting. It. Didn't Spill didn't it, didn't have uh was not in the know on what I needed to bring, what I needed to know. <laughs> and uh because I didn't know any of that, it was kind of a And then were you meeting. already in the meeting when she found that out? So then it was oh, like yeah. the awkward like kicking you under the table or Basically. pinching you in the arm like you're dead later. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's what it went That's would something I would do. For me, it was probably like just never doing a single dish like I'm in college <laughs> ever. You know, like just even like I could probably just have I used one fork. I didn't even use a plate and I just would still just set it in the sink and not put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> so it was probably something like that. It's because you're back was hurting and well, you had to bend I, over to the the silver was always on the bottom of the dishwasher well you know it's what what if it's got to soak a little bit yeah exactly you know? <laughs> it's dried you gotta, on there you gotta yeah. get that grime off yeah we just gotta start loading the dishwasher <laughs> wrong and then she won't want you to do it yeah oh yeah. My, my little brother used to do that growing up just yep. do something wrong and then i'd have to do it yeah I just don't have that gear, Tyler. I just do everything right, you know? Except for just not putting it in there. Yeah. How great of a scapegoat is it, though, to just, like, you're just going to soak something for, for right. overnight? Oh, just, my God. It's, uh, it is the well, best. And uh, she just bought the, the Dawn soap that's actually, it's now a spray. Oh, oh. that's game changer. So now it's Soak City, yeah. you know? like. <laughs> Yep. Like you don't even have to run any water to soak it. You just put the pan with like the egg residue on it. And yep. <laughs> throw some hot water in no, there. No, you don't. You just let it soak. Oh, you just let it sit. Yeah, just soak. Even better, you're saving yeah. water. Uh, oh. The crock pot is a giant culprit of the soak. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. agree with that. Yeah. yeah, just sits in the. I, sink I would for two venture weeks. to say I've had a crock pot soak for three weeks. <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> Well, that's uh, as science says, it takes at least three weeks to. I think I read an article like that yeah. somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. That was that was pretty good, Jared. You pretty keep, good or you, really good? You can keep your job. It was pretty good. Oh, thank God. Last pretty week was job. really good. You all live right. to fight another day. Whew. Um, no, it was good. Um, next up, Tyler. Mitchell Tenpenny. We got the M10 Penny uh-huh. um, in the house. He is an electric guest. In the sense that he's got a very interesting personality. He used to, as we touched very heavily <laughs> on in the interview, be in a metal band. So okay. that was kind of fun to uh, dive into that a little bit. A little bit of screaming going on, um, which was unexpected. We have a new mission for new for country concerts. We have to start a mosh pit yeah. at a country concert. Too bad Jade's not in here. We we're talking moshing in here. but uh, So, yeah, you have to uh, stay tuned here for Mitchell Tenpenny. Again, he's got what What are what we list off some of his big ones. The bucket list is a big um, bucket song that list. He has. Um, bitches is a big one. Uh, <laughs> uh, bitches. We talked to him about bitches, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Um, he cross dressed a little What's in that the one video. With, that he has with Seaforth. Um, anything she says. Yes, that's, that's a good a, one. That's yep, a great I like one. that one. Yep. Um, got many songs. 
great songwriter, very talented. And uh, so here's our uh, segment with Mitchell Tenpenny. But before we get into that. But! Hold on, where's the read? <laughs> uh, but! Before we get into our interview with Mitchell Tenpenny, we have to talk to you guys about holiday gas stations. It's all about the yeah. coffee, hot food. Yeah. We'll work on that. Um, no, it's all about the iced coffee <laughs> this week. That was last week. It was all about the entrees. Uh, this week, there's a promotion going between. Oh, well, not this week, but April 22nd, the month after my birthday. Through May 19th, any size iced coffee is $1.69. I like what they did there. hey yo. Hey. hey yo. Uh, <laughs> this is the, uh, ooh, this is the first time that they're, they're promoting the iced coffee with this limited time offer. They'll be promoting it all over social media. Again, iced coffee. You go to one of those other places. Mm-hmm. Not to be named, those who should not be named in the coffee world, an iced coffee. Lakin, how much does it cost you? $5. Five plus dollars, depending on what size you get. Dollar sixty nine. Um, I've become a big iced coffee guy lately. It lights so, you up. It does. And yeah. you know, you wake up in the morning, you kind of got the cotton mouth thing going on. You want to be refreshed. And sometimes a hot cup of coffee kind of gives you the stanky dad mouth. Yep. <laughs> Iced coffee. The stanky mouth. Reverse. That should be the lead on their campaign. Don't get stanky Do dad mouth. You hate mouth. stanky dad breath. <laughs> Drink iced coffee. Clean it up. <laughs> Clean it up with iced coffee. Um, yeah, you got to go to holiday gas stations for that deal. April 22nd through May 19th, uh, a full month long. Any uh, holiday gas station, head in there for a dollar sixty nine iced coffee. You're not gonna find prices like that anywhere. Mm-mm. It's like that old commercial. Wow, that's a low price. <laughs> uh, so head to holiday. <laughs> Here's our segment with Ten Penny. So we're up from in North Dakota, Fargo. So like right now, oh, it's wow, like thirty yeah. degrees there, and so we're just Jeez. feeling good and. Went golfing once, and we all got sunburned. Where'd y'all, go, where'd y'all golf? Oh, dude, I, I I got so sunburned <laughs> golfing two days ago. My ears are peeling already. Yeah, I yeah. got the whole, you, the whole golf oh, fee going on. <laughs> where'd, you, where'd y'all play at? Uh, Gaylord Springs. Oh, nice. Yeah, yep. up out there. Yeah, it was, it was a, a nice course. course. Yeah, uh, it's a real link style, kind of a lot of mounds. Yeah, of, for not there being a lot of trees, we lost a lot of balls. Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, the, the few water they have, they just tend to kind of be magnets. A yes, 100%. It's crazy. Um, so you like golfing or what? I love golfing. Um, it was kind of my, you know, something I always did growing up with my dad. But, you know, the past year being home, it was kind of like my thing to do during quarantine was just get out and play golf as much as possible. So I, I love it. I'm just trying to play as many courses as I can, different ones. You got yeah. a favorite yet? Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Um, it's close to Chattanooga. It's called Macklemore. It's mountain golf. Like it's oh, there's so many elevations. Don't go there trying to get a good score because you're going to be. <laughs> pissed off in two seconds go but there for the views yeah the views and like you're hitting off massive elevations the 18th hole is like one of the prettiest holes in golf and they're just like a new club just starting just opening kind of getting their name out so check it out if if you've never been it's awesome yeah. okay it's a lot of fun macklemore we'll put it on the list yeah it's yeah. not far uh, yeah next trip we gotta plan less podcasts more golf listen yeah. to this guy we're already <laughs> planning the next trip and that's we it hell left yeah yet. dude that's what happens yeah. in nashville you just ride back <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, well, thanks for coming on the podcast, man. man. Thank Um, you all for having us. I feel a little bit like I already know you a little just because I've been hanging out (laughs) with like Earn and your brother and all that stuff. It's a small world. I know. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, it's been great. We, we, uh, me and Tyler were talking and they say that you're what they would call a unicorn because (laughs) you actually grew up in Nashville and then got onto the, the country scene and all that. Yeah, I say, you know, I bumped my head early, I guess. Um, and, <laughs> and I also think we need to change it from unicorn or some better, like Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot, <laughs> some better mythical creature. The beast, like in Sandlot. Yes, there you go. The beast. There we go. That's I'll, I'll take that. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a unicorn, man, I, I guess. I love I love music and never strayed away from it. It's kind of been fed to me my whole life here. And yeah, so, so is that it. was that kind of just part of your family growing up or you kind of yeah. the rogue one? Well, it was, they were in the business side of it. My, my grandmother ran right across the street from here, uh, at 
the hotel it was Sony Publishing for gotcha. 30 years. So she was on the songwriting side of it. So I got to grow up around songwriters and I just fell in love with like songwriters. I thought they were badass. Like, yeah. When I found out that a songwriter wrote for other artists, I always thought artists wrote their own songs. I remember the day that I was I was standing up in her office. She's like, hey, this is the guy who wrote He Stopped Loving Her today. Uh, one of the best country songs, in my opinion, ever. And, I, and I, for something that clicked, I was like, I want to be that guy. Like, no one knows yep. who he is unless you know who he is. And yep. he's like just the coolest thing in the world. And so I wanted to be a songwriter. Yeah, it's like then, the behind you know? the scenes badass, basically. Absolutely, man. Yeah. And I just like that's kind of what Nashville was run on was these songwriters. And I loved it. I'm gonna take that name for me. What the behind the scenes badass? Yeah, They're behind the camera. <laughs> no, if I like, yeah. <laughs> go for it, man. BTSBA. Yep. Uh, so Quick okay, acronym. obviously country music's big, but you were a heavy metal guy yeah. at one point. Yeah. Wait, let's talk. What is that? What happened? I I just you know you got to have your teenage angst years. <laughs> you know you got to step away from. So instead of going country. like uh <laughs> like simple plan blink one eight two punk. I pop did like punk. I liked pop punk as well. We did that, but I do metal got me hype. Like my <laughs> first time I got in a mosh pit, I was like, "This is all I fucking care about is I want to swing my arms and either get hit or hit somebody, yeah. and it's appropriate." You sound like a football guy. Did you ever <laughs> yeah, play football? I, I did. I, okay. I, I love football. It destroyed my body. I'm too small, but yeah. so you went I from everything I had to hitting team. people and getting hit <laughs> to to drunk me's not over you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. My parents would come to these shows and they're very supportive in everything we did, but they just did not like that music. And I remember the first time I played like just an acoustic song for my mom. She started crying. She's like, thank you. For, <laughs> thank you. I, like, I can't imagine why they didn't like that. No, type of music. I, they just they weren't cool, I guess. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. uh, but yeah, it was, and I was like, I just wanted to make my mom cry more after that in a good way. Oh, I like sense. that. <laughs> so so I, I started doing more country singer songwriter stuff. I love that. So uh, what was the switch like from being the songwriter to, to being the yeah. guy singing them? Man, that's the craziest part because I've always loved being in bands. I never I never thought it would be Mitchell Tenpenny ever. Um, I love playing music in bands, but I love being a songwriter. It's just in Nashville, you kind of do songwriter rounds. You play songwriter rounds all the time, and people would come up at their shows and be like, you need to sing that song. Like, that needs to be you. And, you know, we started a little label, and – ended up playing CMA Fest show and people were there singing some songs back. And it's one of those natural moments where you never know who's in the room. And Sony was in the room yeah. and my manager at the time, she came and grabbed me. She's like, cause I was packing up my own shit. She goes, put your shit down. Let's get over here. You got to talk to these people right now. <laughs> and, uh, and, and in about a month we were on the road with a song called drunk me doing radio tour. And I just didn't really, there wasn't really a transition. It was just like, go. And I was like, hell yeah. If I'm going to get the opportunity, I'm gonna go with it. My brother, Rafe, who y'all yeah. got to hang out with. I went to Guitar Center, bought a bass. He didn't play bass. I said, dude, <laughs> learn. I was like, I don't want to be out here by myself. Will you come? Here you go. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and so he learned bass. And uh, I took, you know, some other guys that I've been playing music with a long time. And we just started going, man. It's just it just kind of just naturally happened. Yeah, I feel the I feel that like I don't want to be out here by myself thing, especially yeah. if it all happens really fast. I, yeah. That would I, that'd be tough because it's, you know, then everyone, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's just weird you know being all of a sudden now you're out meeting all these it just wasn't how i was raised like i've been in nashville my whole life like we went to kentucky and florida like i didn't travel and then all of a sudden i'm traveling the whole country and getting to see a lot of stuff and i didn't want to do that by myself I, and i was very lucky to have my brother with me um and he's you know he's a badass yeah he seems like he's up for whatever too <laughs> he that's the he's always been like he's just he has this even kill just down for whatever yeah Oh, yesterday he was is. he was wearing a Hawaiian shirt on top of a teenage mutant. No, 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 Rugrats. Rugrats. Which is even better. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's my brother. He has like four shirts, yeah. and then he wears uh, some, some Hawaiian Dip. shirt over it. It's either a wrestling shirt, Rugrats, some Nickelodeon shirt, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's I love it. I like that. Um, so you're a big cross dresser, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, yes. I could frame this question different, but I think I should just say it. Um, yeah, I guess, man. <laughs> I guess that's Michelle. That that's uh, the name. That's the name of that character. I guess. So for the people listening, uh, Mitchell did a uh, music video oh. where he was the guy and the gal. Yeah. Um, I I cock blocked myself <laughs> yes. in the video. Uh, uh, it was very disturbing. 
Oh, yeah, honestly, extremely though, out of my comfort zone, but it was it was fun. It was it ended up being a lot. Of yeah, fun. and I think what people like about that video is like that kind of like you can kind of make fun of yourself or be willing to make yeah, yourself man. look like an idiot and a hundred. Yeah, that's what it should be, man. I, I people take this so seriously. It's like we play a guitar. Like it's not that fucking awesome. I mean, it, it's it's awesome, but it's like it's you're not better than anyone else. Like who cares? Right. Like we're very lucky when we get the chance to do it. I always say like the person who just served you food's probably better than you. They just haven't the stars haven't lined up yet. Yeah. So it's like taking sense. yourself too seriously at this. It just I don't I don't think there's any room for it. It gets really annoying to me when people are like, no, this is my craft. This is it. Like just never like everything needs to be so strict and I need to look perfect at all times. I'm like, eh. Yeah, that's just not me. I mean, if it's for somebody else. Well, and like even with like social media now, like that's exhausting trying to always be buttoned up. And there's just so many platforms. There's just so many things that you have to be so perfect for. It's like, man, just if you if you start your career off with that, (laughs) then you don't have to. You you kind of set the standard of, uh, you know, I really don't give a shit. And dude, this is just who I am. And because if you if you fall off, if you start perfect and fall off, then people expect something from you. So yeah. I try to let people expect the worst from me from the beginning so that it can only get better. I like that. That makes sense. Um, I want to circle back to the heavy metal <laughs> one time. I have yeah. one question. Yeah. Just what does that do to your voice? Is it yeah, crazy okay. warm ups? Great question. Because every uh, time I try yeah. to impersonate it, I end up like coughing for like 15 <laughs> yeah. minutes. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's it's you. You don't talk before shows at all. Um screaming it is what it is you're screaming <laughs> there's there's ways around it there's an inhale scream there's an exhale scream uh i don't know if i can really do it right now but it's no, like you, it's you, you don't you have yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like it's like there's there's ways to learn to kind of like make it where you don't like get vocal nodes and shit but it's uh yeah it's pretty rough it's pretty rough on them like it was some of my favorite screamers like under oath spencer and stuff like when you watch i'd watch them like before shows and spencer just be in a corner by himself the whole time he couldn't talk Cause like he's got a, the whole show is going to be him screaming and it's just like, it, it's so badass. But at the same time, it's just, it's just too much for, for what it is yeah. What about after the show. Well, and then that too, like depends, are you drinking after the show? It's going to be even worse on your voice. Are you partying yeah. or are you drinking water and going straight to bed? I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do to take care of it. Uh, when you're young and you're, you feeling like a rock star and you're jumping around, you tend to just drink afterwards and stay awake all night. And so uh, it doesn't really, help your vocal cords at all so uh <laughs> how do you find out you're a good screamer i man do i my, just need to start just going for it or what yeah you just go for the, there's some lessons on youtube um okay. there's some guys that'll teach you how to scream <laughs> i've seen it's of every different version of scream they'll teach you how to do it it's actually pretty funny i was a terrible screamer my band hated when i scream um, but I just I I wanted it. My girlfriend hates that yeah, too. Yeah, I like, don't know what her deal is. But. <laughs> it, it, it was it was a it was a challenge for a while. I had to like go home and practice in my room. My parents were probably like, "What the fuck is going no, on?" With he's our son? got they got friends over. Yeah. No, he's just going through a phase. Yeah, he's just yeah, it's just a phase. But granted, they let me go through it, and I got out of it on my own clean. Um, uh, but I still love metal. I still love listening to it. But I yeah, I'm I'm think I'm done playing it. Okay, but I will mosh. I will mosh. We'll mosh. Again. We uh, played a show last, well, not last year, the year before with uh, some big festival with a, we played a show and then right next to the stage was August Burns Red and all my band, we went over there and listened to them play and we all got in the mosh pit again. Felt like we were 17, <laughs> so out of breath. Like I was, we, <laughs> like, I, I mean, I'm one song dancing to mosh in, and we were, me and Ray for holding each other, like puking <laughs> on the sides. Just hey, like yeah, maybe we should sit the out next one yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, but the lasers were so dope and it was just like... <laughs> We just felt alive. Hey, yeah. that's, that's got to be your goal moving forward to get a country mosh going. Uh, I, do, I, tr- I try to put breakdowns in every song and everyone just stops me and won't do it. But Is it because everyone's like too drunk or something? They're or just what? lame. No, no, I mean, no, when writing a song, like I try to put breakdowns in songs sometimes and like the co-writers in the room are like, nah. Like, just trust me. People are going to want it. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to want a breakdown. I mean, I want it. But yeah. People yeah, will too. Yeah. I believe that what I want, people will. Well, know. it's like even in like the, the EDM concerts when they have yeah. them all like jump to the left and then then jump to the right and the whole crowd's moving and back come, and forth. It's, that, sh- that shit's so high. Cool. I love that stuff. Like, yeah. even, you know, where they, they get the fast snares and then it does the drops. That's EDM drops. That's the same thing as like when it comes down to yeah. a breakdown of metal. It's like, yeah. it's your one chance to shine. <laughs> one shining gotta, moment. You got to go for March it. Madness theme here. Yeah, you come out with some broken. It's your one some shot. Face, Don't whatever. let it go. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So Nashville, we've, you know, like we said, I felt like I already kind of knew a little bit about you um, just from hanging out with the same people you hang out with. I love it. Um, so what yeah. we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do some like high school stereotypes, okay. but Nashville style, okay. uh, in the country, uh, world here. Yeah. Did I explain that? I think so that's a good way to explain you know, it. Like, like in the yearbook in high school, you get yeah. the superlatives, like, like <laughs> most, most likely, likely to, to succeed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But for country musicians. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Who, <laughs> who is the teacher's pet here in Nashville? <laughs> uh Chris Jansen. Okay. Chris Jansen. Who's the class clown? Uh honestly, Shay. Shay and the Seaforth boys. Okay. Shay from Dan and Shay and the Seaforth boys. They're just dude, they're so funny. Like I, they're together too. Like it's they're hilarious. The class clowns. Yeah, class clowns. I gotta give three. And I think what makes the the Seaforth guys funnier is even that just the accent. I know it's like kind yeah. of cheap humor, but they're it's just so it fast, just dude. Dude, the, it's a great Australian accent. Mitch is a, a great looking man, so like he can make any girl laugh, and he's and in that accent, <laughs> and he just gets anything he wants. Even, even Michelle, even yeah, even Michelle. I'm, I would, I would sleep with Mitch. And Michelle would sleep with Mitch <laughs> in two seconds. Here we are. We not myself. A, the other Mitch. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Most likely to sleep with Mitch is Michelle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if he'd want to, but it is what it is. Uh, who's most likely to live in detention? <laughs> Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah, and it's not necessarily because he's like doing bad shit. It's more so he's just running his mouth a yeah, little yeah, bit, yeah, right? It, yeah. It, it's just at all times. He's he's been that way since we were kids, man. And, and then finally, everyone like made fun of him at the age, and then he gets up here and he's a genius for it. And it's yeah. like, and I'm super proud of him. But yeah, he's just always something's going on up there that yeah. I don't. No one knows what's going on up yeah. there. Yeah, scheming. He, he's the Scheming. shithead in detention that becomes super successful yeah. and comes back to the reunion <laughs> strutting in. A amen. I love it. Yeah. Boss well, moving. you guys were messing off. I was in detention planning how I was gonna <laughs> beat you yeah, all. Yeah. Hundred percent, man. That's that's him, man. He's a badass. Who's most likely to survive the Hunger Games? <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh probably like tyler farr okay somebody like that yeah. tyler farr uh john langston someone like that they can they can hold their own out in the woods nice pretty good uh who's most likely to spend all their money on scratch offs or pull tabs <laughs> or something like that man that's probably me honestly <laughs> dude i'm a sucker for it for a good gamble. Well, you know, you put throw a twenty down, maybe a hundred down, and then like you get that one twenty back, then you re put that in, it's, and it's, it's it's that's how they get you. And they and I and I know better, but I still do it. I, I just love it. Just the box keeps getting lower and lower, and you know you got to hit soon. There's Dude. still numbers in there. I agree, a hundred percent. Last one here for you. What? <laughs> who's the best person to get stuck on a deserted island with? Hmm. I don't know. That that's a good question. Um I I would say par probably of my friends, I'd want to be with with the Seaforth boys again. Yeah. I think they'd be hilarious. They'd keep you entertained. Yeah. I mean, I, I you could say someone big like Kenny Chesney, he'd probably own the island and then maybe <laughs> yeah. he would have like no shoes. Yeah, something really cool to go to. But I don't know. I I'd want to say the Seaforth boys again. Yeah, cuz it's almost like it's someone that like it's cool, but like not trying to be like too much because yeah. then you're gonna get annoyed of them. But uh, yeah, yeah. I, I could just hang out with them at all times, so I'm gonna go with them. I like that. Um, didn't you did a music music video with them? Didn't you? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, anything we uh, we wrote the song anything she says together, and we did a video, and it's just for another one where we're just making fun of each other and having <laughs> yeah. fun. Uh, it's ridiculous, and Mitch's and Tom's faces on some of them, I I just can't even watch it. I crack up so much, like. They're just so funny, man. Go yeah. watch the video if you haven't seen it. They're just, and now you know in those dudes, they're just hilarious. Yeah, I I believe it. Uh, so we're trying to get back to some live shows. Are you excited yeah. about that? Oh, uh, yeah. I think time, you got to try and get a mosh going this year. This I, is the year. Everyone's got pent up. I, I do. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to. I, I At the end of sets, we play bitches, and I always get people to throw <laughs> up two middle fingers, and that feels really cool when the entire crowd is throwing yes. up middle fingers. So yeah. I think I'm going to try to see if I can split the crowd and then everyone just kind of eat face in the middle. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can do that if you social distance. <laughs> <laughs> they just they stop six yeah, feet yeah, away. Yeah. They run full speed. Nah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, I would love to. Um, I would love to 
add add a song that has a breakdown for a mosh. Yeah. It might happen. I'll send it to yeah. you. Yeah. Are you excited to be doing live shows again then? <sighs> Man, I couldn't be more excited. It's it's just shit. What a crazy year. Something like you I wanted a break. We've been going hard for years. Wanted a break. We were flying to London. My tour manager Lee, he's sitting over here. He uh comes to the plane he's like hey man we need to get tickets now for the plane ride home like everything's shutting down yep so we do that and we're like man we're gonna get this two week off it's gonna be cool like whatever we were yeah. bummed we couldn't play in london but we're like we're gonna get two weeks off get back and and dude i i mean a month in i was going crazy i was like i i you're didn't like, realize how much i really missed it until it's just taken away from you man you're like i wanted truth. a break i didn't want this long yeah, of a break yeah i wanted it on my terms <laughs> <laughs> like i wanted a break for a little bit everyone needed it. you get burnt out doing that but but did man, you do I, a lot of like writing and stuff during quarantine then oh that's all i've been doing just writing trying to be productive um writing for other artists again um as a songwriter and then writing for you know my stuff records just Writing a lot, getting back to what I did before I was uh, signed as an artist, which was writing every single day. That's what I've been doing all. Do you think quarantine. there's gonna be like we'll look back at like the quarantine thing and be like, damn, look at all the music that actually yeah. came yeah. out of it though. Maybe, maybe every like ten yeah. years we should all just shut down and yeah. get honestly, write music. Honestly, there might be something to it. I think, you know, we've gotten to play a few shows since, um, you know, a- after all of the COVID stuff, and they're just super hype, man. They're just like yeah. people are ready to be back. I can't wait to do a festival again and see like what kind of energy those crowds are going to have. You know, our shows are fun because it's all your fans and they're wild and crazy wanting to sing, like get back to show, but like festivals, like you're yeah. kind of trying to make new fans as well. And I just think people are going to be so stoked to be in a live music setting. I'm just, I'm excited. Well, I want to, I want to be in the crowd with a beer above my head, just <laughs> spilling on everyone. Just so singing. cold Steve uh, in a mosh yeah. pit. Yeah. 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 100% in yeah. a mosh pit. <laughs> <laughs> just start your own, man. It's a festival, dude. Hey, please. we'll come to your next We're, show and we'll try to start the mosh ourselves. <laughs> please, please do it. Yeah. Like, uh, just, like a comedy about show. about confidence. Comedy just, shows. They got the plant. We'll be the mosh plant for you guys. Uh, that would be incredible. We'll do it, please. Uh, we always joke because I played a little football too, and and I joke that I crave physical contact. So I get, I get that. I do, man. I miss it. It's like it's it's the only sport where you can't call up your buddies, go put on shoulder pads, and go right. play again. Like mm-hmm. we can go play five on five basketball. We well, you maybe could, but it would be pretty yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it would be like Hamstrings. everyone everyone would be dead. <laughs> like if I got hit one time, like I used to hit when I played linebacker, I would be dead. Yeah, I would be on the ground laying for an hour. There'd be a lot of handshakes. Like, hey, yeah. just. Yeah, let's maybe take it easy on yeah, this next yeah, one. Yeah, let's 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 you know I don't know maybe ca- <laughs> caress each other, fold on top of each other. I don't know. Yeah, if you just tap me, I'll go down. Yeah, yeah. Just you know what? Two hand touch. Take the pads off. We're done with this shit. It, it starts full contact, and yeah. every series it starts getting less and less. Yes, your shells, and then your just cleats, and then your two hand touch, and then it's you're playing done. Madden. And then, yeah, then you're playing Madden, or you're in a fight because that's what guys do now. After you, it's it's full on contact. Let's do it first one. Then you're fighting for yep. no reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just full on fist fighting with your friends. Yeah, I, do, do you play video games at all? You Madden guy? I I love Madden. That's uh, li- literally all I play. Um, I just play sports games. Are the Titans your team? Uh, yeah, always Titans. That's it. They're getting close. They're getting close to breaking through. I think. <sighs> Man, we're 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 close. We're right there. I like some of the moves we're making. Um, we got we got some um some defensive cornerbacks that we needed. We needed a true linebacker. And a leader, and I think I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I man, you're I you really good. I like that. You know your football. I, there we go. I've been I've been diehard Titans since '99, baby. <laughs> Nashville or Tennessee Oilers. It's uh, I'm I'm ready for a Super Bowl. I I, I deserve it personally. <laughs> and if anyone I, deserves it. it I've been wanting you. to get a Titans tattoo, and I just can't do it until we win a Super Bowl. And so anyway, I'm the same way with the Vikings. Yeah. As soon as we win one. I'm getting tatted. We up. got to. I yep. love the wheeze. Oh, well, yeah, I'm every we. bit of part of the I'm on the field on <laughs> Sunday in my in my mind. If I don't wear the same jersey, yeah, this is the week before when we won, we'll lose. So oh, I'm right. part of that. I team. can't wash my. I don't wash mine, and it's just because yep. I don't wash yep. my jersey through the season. Uh, you gotta you gotta keep it keep it clean. If you're, they lose though, then I'll switch because it was yeah, my yeah, fault of course. they lost. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. they lose, we can change. Yeah, and it's like you're yelling at the TV like, that's not what we game plan. Yeah. <laughs> what are we what are doing you, out there? Why do why do I know more than these coaches? Like, <laughs> they're getting paid. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, it's like, it's like someone in the crowd yelling at you, being <laughs> yeah. like, "Why are you playing it that way? You yeah. don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how to play the song you wrote." <laughs> yeah. it's every dad at a t-ball game. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Uh, I used to I used to ump games, and I got I got yelled at by some dads. Dude, they're the worst. They're, they're children. Just chill out. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. The bad. dads are children too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, dude, they're probably not going to make it. You know, in they, sports, yeah, they're not. So, they're, like, they're not going to relax, make it. especially your son, <laughs> sir. Like your son's the worst on the team. He's swinging that like an axe, and you're compensating <laughs> for him. I can tell. So please shut up, sir. Go well, back to your car. It's because dad never played, so he wants the kid yeah. to. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't know. Well, I appreciate you coming on, man. This of course, has been man. fun. Yeah, you uh, working on anything? Connect. Anything you want to the plug? Um, that man, we're uh, you know. Just new music's coming out. We got Bucket List working its way up on the highway right now. And uh, yeah. we got a bunch of new songs coming out uh, very soon. We just recorded six more. Going to go back in the studio in like a month, I think. So I'm just excited to get new music out. So that's it. I mean, nothing nothing too crazy right now. Yeah. And shows are starting to happen. If you see one, come. Let's party. Let's mosh. Let's, Let's mosh. mosh. <laughs> Let's drink beers and mosh. There we go. Uh, where can everyone find you on, on social media and stuff? Yeah. Any of them. The M, the number 10 penny. Um, any, and I'm trying to tick tock. I'm doing my best. I'm trying. I just, I'm not, that's where I discovered the heavy metal stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, that would scream. Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to make it different than the Instagram thing. It's just so much. I'm just terrible with social media. So I'm just, I'm trying, you know, bear with me, but come check it no, out. No, I think you're doing well, man. Thank you, bro. Um, yeah. Every once in a while mix in the, the metal. We, we <laughs> enjoy that as fans. I so. will, man. I will. We're going to, we're doing, um, a metal version of drunk me right now. Uh, yes. I, I was at the studio last night. Uh, screaming a little bit on that, so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty pretty fun. We're gonna release that. It'd be some people are gonna like it. Some people are gonna probably not like me your, anymore. Your after. mom's not gonna know. like it. No, Debbie, Debbie's not gonna hear it. <laughs> She's not gonna even know about it. I love it. Well, thanks for coming on, man. Of course, thanks real. for having Appreciate me. It. On. Cheers. Come on, Titans, tighten up. <laughs> Wait, not like that. <laughs> tighten up, not tighten up. Okay, <laughs> tighten up, tighten. Up. Let's go. Come on, big blue. <laughs> Let's go, Tractor Cito. Big, big player. Um, that was an interview with Mitchell Ten Penny, also known as a very big Titans fan. Mm-hmm. Um, tighten up. Uh, <laughs> and good, good guy. Great that, guy. He's a great guy. Super professional guy. I would. The, what I would take away is that he's a good guy. Great dude. He's a great. Wouldn't know though. The dude in him is great. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a lot of great dudeness in him. So, um, fun to catch up with him. <laughs> Isn't that what they usually say on stuff like that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's great catching up with Mitchell Tenpenny. Super fun to catch up with him. <laughs> great name, too, Tenpenny. Yeah. That is a cool name. Yeah. I don't know any other Tenpenny. Uh, local Nashville name, as we heard, Unicorn. Grew up in Nashville. Wow. What... Uh, what would you say if he's just not uh, if he's performing at half himself? Five cents. Mitchell five. P- <laughs> he's probably uh, five. <laughs> There's penny. nothing half of a penny. Mitchell five oh, penny. Five yeah. penny. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be like if it was Mitchell ten dime. It could be Mitchell ten nickel. Yeah. Oh, that'd uh, be good. Mitchell five penny. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell five half a cent. Yeah, he was full four, so he's ten penny. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's great. All gas, no break. Good guy. Good, good guy, guy. Good great guy. guy. Um, guys, that wraps up another episode of You Bet Your Radio podcast. Um, hit a, hit the subscribe button. Ooh. Yes. Throw us a review, a rating. Send it to a friend. Follow us on Instagram at You Bet Your Radio, as well as Twitter and the other ones. All of um, them. Jared's constantly cutting up clips and putting out content there. Um, you can get another look at at uh, Cody's. Cut his noticeably absent haircut from the audience today. Yeah. Um, so go follow us there. It's a lot of fun happening over there. Ryan, why don't you uh, close this out? <laughs> Guys, thanks again for listening to episode 114 of the You Betcha Radio podcast. Miles, before we wrap it up, we got to talk about this month's this month's merch. Oh yeah, <laughs> we got the we got the charity shirt out. It's April. This is. Uh, <laughs> This is the month of charity for you betcha. So we got uh, the brand new Midwest's best 2.0 design on the website, ouyoubetcha.com. $5 from each item that is sold of that shirt is going to go to charity miles. And what charities is it going to? This is going to the 
University of Iowa Stead Families Children's Hospital. Yeah, that's where a, they do the wave. Yep, at Kinnick Stadium. At Kinnick, um, yep. So do it for the kids. Don't yeah. money. It's a good one. Um, yeah. Sweet. Head over to OUBetcher.com. It's going to run through the end of the month. Go check out that. All the other merch is live as well. So go pick yourself up something nice for the summer. Miles, I am Ryan the T-shirt guy. And I am Miles the Betcha guy. May your ranch always be runny. Your bush lattes forever be cold. Cheers, Ryan. Ah, my God. Wow. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.